Hello guys, this is Abhijit aka Silver Fox A. In this particular video, I'm going to share with you how you can uh, set up DNS records and uh, DNS from GoDaddy uh, with the DigitalOcean host. I have covered a lot of important topics related to server and infrastructure setup and planning to cover a lot more. So please keep following my channel for new set of video tutorial content. In this video, I'm going to start from Sky so that you know what we're doing and how we are doing. Right, first we will go to GoDaddy and uh, try to log into the portal where we can. In, you, if you don't have a domain, you can just buy it from their portal. Or else, in case if you have, so for this video, I'm assuming that you have a domain with you. Right, so I'll select uh, from one of the lists that I have here. Uh, I'll select this one for this demo purpose. Okay, once you click on DNS, it will redirect you to the management portal. Uh, they will show you the DNS management system here. So that holds all the A records, CNAME records and all the set of records. Along with that, it will also show you the name servers. This is what we need to change. We need to redirect it to DigitalOcean's name server. Now let's open up DigitalOcean console. Now in case if you don't have an account there, just try to uh, sign up or else if you have one log into the portal if you want to know in uh, depth about digital ocean infrastructure and more i will put all the links in the description so that you can just walk yourself through as i have covered those set of topics before okay now go to networking section here we have to add our domain so larawish.com is the domain that we will be using for this purpose just add the domain and it will give a certain set of domain management system or as the DNS management system okay so here you can configure your a record and all the stuff and these are the name servers that uh, we have to utilize in the sense we have to change here from default to custom and let's say they are giving two here we need one more because domain uh, digital version gives you three and we need to add all three right okay so we'll just copy paste this is the second name server so here uh, you just need to change ns1 to ns2 and rest remains same so you can just copy this and put it as ns3.digitalocean.com that's done okay so it might take certain amount of time to show you the refreshed content cause our uh, dns management or dns change takes up to 24 to 48 hours so for this purpose we will use star browser or the, you can go for incognito or something else because it shows you all uh, the changes instantly okay now we'll go to digital ocean and uh, create a droplet so there's basically the web server that we'll be using and uh, it's a vps you can use any uh, VPS for this matter for this particular uh, demo purpose or uh, it just needs to be on top of LAMP because we need the Apache server running for the setup commands to work properly okay here we'll uh, go for one click apps instead of a normal distribution because uh, in a one click app we have uh, this LAMP configuration by default uh, set up for us uh, on top of open to 16.04 right and we'll go for the normal version a normal droplet and the data center to be Bangalore and uh, you can choose which server is nearest to you and that's it so once the droplet configured right uh, digital ocean will push me up, push you a mail with a set of credentials using which you can access the droplet right and for each set of droplet you get IPv4 address using which you can uh, check your website in, uh, I'm using terminal to connect to the droplet using SSH command in case if you are a Windows user you can use putty or you can use the web uh, console or uh, the digital ocean provides you type in SSH or username at the rate IP try once more and let's see what happens you have to say to enter or yes so it is basically asking to store the set of steps on your local device stating that these are authorized okay. 
let's go ahead and more you enter the password and this you got in in your mail so this is the port and IP and root and the uh, password for the root user so once once you configure the root uh, configure the drop it it's highly recommended that you change um, all create a new pseudo user and don't use the root user for your other set of operations that you'll be doing although you can change the root user's password uh, from digital ocean console uh, for that particular droplet okay now let's go to uh, let's just try out the IP so you'll get to see this set of configurations because it's the default uh, HTML page that uh, they have provided digital ocean we have to change that okay so this is the directory where you get this default uh, HTML page that's being displayed uh, when you try pin the URL or the IP address right uh, we'll just remove that and place our own uh, file it can be PHP it can be HTML it totally depends on you I'll just uh, write a dummy text So I'll, I'll, I'll just give a hello world comment or basically a message so that will be displayed as a header one tag let's just restart the server using service Apache to restart so Apache 2 is the version like a uh, second version okay so you get the message displayed here okay so we're then now what we'll do is we'll uh, configure the custom name uh, basically we'll link the domain name to this uh, IP or to this uh, VPS or the droplet so what you have to do is we have to enter the host name as at the rate so that will redirect and, and this is a record so at the rate will redirect to laravish.com the, the default domain and we're redirecting it to the droplet that we just created or you can just put in the IP here so that would laravis.com would go to your droplet droplet and we can create a C name where our triple W will be referred and it, it will take you to the uh, laravis.com so if someone is looking for uh, triple W dot laravis.com that will also be referred to laravis.com yeah so this is laravis.com you can try out triple W dot laravis.com I'll show you the same message because it's referring the same domain. Please do check my next video where I'll be configuring free, free SSL using Let's Encrypt Search Bot. If you found the video or uh, video content informative and helpful enough, uh, please do subscribe my channel, like and share the videos, whichever you prefer the most. Uh, so that, that will encourage me to uh, make more videos on these sort of uh, topics.